<clears throat> Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. First of all, if you want to like and subscribe, go ahead after watching this video. If you don't, it's cool. Also, if you want to help donate to the Cash App, all the money goes back to the production set. Go back, watch some old videos. You'll see that we've been improving here slowly. Surely. As well. All right, that's enough of that. Also, today we're going to be talking about should you have been born? I know, weird question. Let's get into it. Uh, of course, where's my sound? But I just want to make a couple of things. A lot of people are shocked to hear that I have children, considering I sued my parents for having me without my permission. But I just want to make a couple of things clear here. So my parents that I sued, they contributed to, you know, conceiving me and my mother that raised me, she gave birth to me. Um, and that's why I sued them, because I did not consent to being here. Like, I... I was gonna have to grow up. Uh, you've already killed your entire argument. Neither did your kids, apparently. They didn't consent to be born either, so there's no way you can even defend yourself at this point at all. Because if your kids end up suing you, you're gonna have to be okay with it, right? Even though you should obviously lose this lawsuit. <laughs> and get a job um, to support myself. And I, there, I just didn't consent to that. They didn't try to contact me in any way before I was born to see if I actually wanted to be here. Um, and that's why I sued them. Now, it's different, like I know I've said it's like unethical to have children before, but it's different when you adopt because it's not my fault that they're here. I'm just trying to be a good person and like help them out. Just take their lives then. Those kids didn't consider, it doesn't matter if you adopt them. Take them, just go ahead, take them. And... I'm not gonna get that dark. I'm just saying, that's how foolish it really sounds. You might as well just take the life of the kid then. No matter if you adopt them or not, just be like, all right, look, I know you didn't consent to be here. Do you want to be alive or not? And if they say no, take them. You see how goofy that sounds? Even when you talk about adoption, it's not my fault they're here. Yeah, but it's your fault for adopting them. And if you don't provide every dime, you just said, hold up. You just said I have to now get a job and support myself. So if you adopt these kids and you don't give them a life where they never have to work ever, you're terrible. You just did. They didn't consent to getting a parent that is not rich. No, I would have rather just stay poor. You gave me a life to where I have to work now. You screwed me up. You should have adopted me and then given me over to the richest people you knew and made them take me. Because now that I'm with you, I got to go to school. I got to go do homework. I got to do all. And I have to listen to you. I didn't consent to that. You bought me. You paid some money and adopted me. I didn't want that life. I didn't want you to be my mom. I wanted my mom to be Beyonce. You messed me up. Now I got to work. Now I got to go work at McDonald's when I'm 16? Oh, no. <laughs> Best believe, as soon as I turn 18, boy, I'm suing you for $100 million. Why? Why that much? Because, God dang it, my dad should have been an NFL player. I should have been adopted by an NFL player, and you didn't marry one. You're not pretty enough to marry an NFL player, and here we are. I'm screwed because my. it sounds like she's single. So My dad's not even in the picture? No. <laughs> no, you're getting sued immediately. Now, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, if you are pregnant right now, you need to go, you need to hire a psychic medium and ask your child if they actually want to be here. I'm about to say something. Hold up. No, ma'am. I'm not going to do that. You want me to go hire some witchcraft? A psychic medium? What? So I'm supposed to do what you tell me to do? You know, that's, that's also the crazy thing. She's talking like, you, I'm going to listen to you? You? Send me in your car. Your hair ain't even done. You don't even look presentable. I'm just kidding. I'm being honestly, this video is um, this is just kind of a joke video. Look, but at the same time, guys, we do have to entertain these videos. We truly do. Um, because when we watch these kind of videos, much we want to make fun of them. I'm we now know that if we don't address this kind of stuff early on, it gets worse. So from now on, when you see videos like this and you see people talking about, I'm going to sue my parents, let's have a logical discussion. I don't want to silence this woman. She can talk about whatever she wants to, but we should be able to also push back and have these conversations. Um, it pretty much doesn't go anywhere after that, guys. It pretty much just stays on this. Uh, she sued her parents, but let's watch a little bit more. But keep in mind, if they don't, you, you need to terminate. Otherwise, they will sue you because I'm 
making that my life mission to teach children to sue their parents so they don't have to work. $5,000? What do you mean they're not going to have to work? You sued them for $5,000. What's that going to get you? It's going to get you maybe through one month of life? What do you mean say they don't have to work? How, how much are you going to sue your parents for? To not have to work for the rest of your life, you know how much money that is? You'd have to have at least, to not work the rest of your life. That's what, at least $5 million? So every kid should sue their parents for $5 million. They're going to be real sad because a lot of parents ain't got $5 million. But yes, that I do have children, but I adopted them. So I had them in like an ethical no, you didn't. way. Not by your logic. That's Cass's controversial video rocked up three right, million. Enough. As soon as Ultimate gets into that part, I don't want to hear their. I don't want to hear their opinion. Just hers. Famous actors. So I mean, they make millions and millions a year. What? Where do my parents get all the money to pay for my entitlement? My parents are famous actors. So I mean, they make millions and millions a year. And when I tell people that I've sued them for five. So you got born into a wealthy family who makes millions and you're complaining about that? First world problem, baby. They gave you the best life they could have. They waited till they were millionaires and then had you. If you can't think. $5,000 a month for having me without my permission. They're always like, oh my God, that's so much money. But it's really not a lot of money to us. That sounds pretty entitled. That sounds really entitled to have parents who make millions. And sometimes you think these Probably people are like trolls. But once again, I don't care if she's doing it for views. I don't care. We still going to have the conversation because from now on, every conversation deserves attention. And we going to snuff it out fast. Equivalent of like you guys paying $100 a month to your kids. Like it's really not a lot. Like they're not missing it. So I don't know why everybody freaks out on me. Cass's TikTok account is classed as satire and the whole situation is a joke. Cass is so convincing See? that most of her audience thinks she's being legitimate. Originally, I did just ask my parents for money every month. Um, See? But eventually... They oh, y'all, what if she's a troll? Let's, let's, I'm still going to have the conversation. I don't care. You know, people, when I made a video on Aiden Ross a while back, when I was talking about Lena the Plug, Right. And I said that what he did was wrong. You know what people said to me? He's trolling. It's not a big deal. Andrew Tate comes on and says the exact same thing I said. Not saying I'm not saying that, you know, I'm on his level. I'm saying that most logical people think the same. And he came on there and said the same thing I said. He said, I'm not going to disrespect Adam because he is. That is his wife. I said the same thing. I said, Aiden, even if he's joking, that's still Adam's wife. And I got told that it's a troll. I shouldn't take it seriously. But then Andrew Tate came on and said the exact same thing I said. And guess what? Everybody's like, yep, exactly. Yep, that's exactly what he's supposed to do. Yep, Andrew Tate, he's just, he just being a man. Guys, you need to entertain the trolls sometimes. You do. It doesn't, it, 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 it just sometimes matter who you are. If I come out and say something, I'm a nobody. And that's fair. I have not worked nearly as hard to become who Andrew Tate is. Okay? That's fair. A lot of my life, fat, lazy, did nothing. I can't complain. But in, in that same light, in that same light, he entertained the troll. He knew Aiden was trolling. He knew Adam was trolling. But his response got so much respect because he took it seriously. I still take this seriously. I don't care if this girl is joking or not. I don't care. Because people, young, impressionable people will still believe her. She just said she thinks people, people don't know that she's joking. That's the problem, dummy. No, not her. She's not a dummy. I'm saying like dummy, generalize. That's the problem. People don't know that you're joking. So we have to talk about it to make sure that these young kids understand. Because you guys prey on these young kids on TikTok and expect them to just understand and have the greatest concept of everything that's said. They don't. If they did, they probably wouldn't be on TikTok. They'd be doing something else with their lives. They on TikTok for a reason. Let's continue. They told me, look, Cass, you're going to have to find a way to get this money on your own. We can't just like hand everything to you for the rest of your life. And I said, okay. Um, that's when I decided to write up this lawsuit and sue them. So they were obligated to give me $5,000 a month. Oh, and it was kind of like me just being petty. Um, but then I won. 
and like they thought it was funny they laughed about it they were like well i mean you found a way to get your money um you had to earn it i guess but anyway it, it was kind of like a joke but they're not mad at me we're still on good terms um so i yeah it, it's people don't know the full story and they're so quick to make judgments and hate on me but um but no like it, it was a funny joke but i got five thousand dollars a month out of it so Overall, Cass's videos are really funny and we actually believed her at first. Imagine suing your parents because you didn't want to be born. Okay, ultimate. Yep, okay, and we're done. And we're done. So, yeah. That's why I make these video guys, because people don't... People are going to take this serious, man. I want you to just take a look at life. Take of everything if you're... I don't care how old you are. Just think of anything in your life and think, you know what? I never thought that this would be a real thing and it is today. What we used to think that was a joke and we didn't even take serious is now serious today. It's actually a thing. There's a lot of stuff that we can look back and go, wow. What started as a joke is now serious. I mean, really serious. Like you can't even joke about it. It's so serious. And that's why I make these videos. Young kids. Stay off these dang websites, man. Man, please, if y'all got young kids or anything, keep them off these websites. Because as much as this girl's joking, the kids don't know the difference. They don't. And she's doing this to all types of children. Nobody who's an adult cares about this woman, except for me. But, you know, a lot of kids do. Anyway, uh, I'm out of here. Goodbye.